Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's talk about the negative rule of rational expressions. Just like with rational numbers, it doesn't really matter where we put the negative sign, in front of the numerator, in front of the denominator, or in front of the divisor, the line between the numerator and the denominator. So all these three expressions are exactly identical, equal to one another. As an example, if we have, for example, minus x plus 2 divided by x squared minus 4, we can first factor out a negative sign, that's like factor out negative 1, right? Negative times the quantity x minus 2. And then we can put the negative sign in front of the numerator, in front of the denominator, or in front of the divisor. It doesn't really matter. It's exactly the same thing. All those expressions in the numerator are identical to one another. Now, what we can do then is, of course, factor out a negative sign then factor the denominator and then realize that both the numerator and denominator have a common factor. Notice this is multiplied and this is essentially negative 1 times that so that is like a multiplication so we can write it as a negative 1 times that which means it's multiplied and since it's multiplied we can divide both the denominator and the numerator by x minus 2 and so in the numerator we get minus 1 in the denominator we get x plus 2 and again it doesn't matter where we put that negative sign, we can write this as 1 over negative times x plus 2, or we can simply write it in front like this. And again, those answers are identical in all respects. And that's what we mean by the negative rule in rational expressions.